been it's been really um, consistent. I guess that's what I like to see. No highs and lows. Um, the guys, um, you know, after last week, um, you know, are, are confident, and I think we're continuing to build on that with just good, solid practices, and you know, the energy shows that. Can you talk about what the game day atmosphere is like in a stadium like Oregon has? Yeah, you know, um, you know, we're on the road, so obviously they're all against us. But uh, you know, it's it's fun whenever you go and play in those environments, and uh, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, communication is probably the hardest thing, just especially on the offensive side, where you know you're trying to communicate calls and checks, and um, it's it's a lot of hard work. And so we've been practicing that all week with a lot of crowd noise simulated, and uh, I think we've done a nice job. And are you just preaching to the guys to go out and start fast and keep the game really close in the beginning? Yeah, I mean, we starting fast is always going to be an important piece to what we do. And, um, um, you know, we, we do have to come out ready to go. And, uh, you know, I know they're going to have a lot of energy, this being their opener, but um, making it about us and just doing our job, doing it really well and executing. Um, just, you know, first road trip of the season. So, you know, what do you tell the guys to prepare them, you know, for it? you know, the plane ride and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah, and those are some of the things we're going over. Uh, we hit on that a little bit on Tuesday, hit on a couple of the final things here just now, uh, wrapping up practice. But, you know, um, hydration, of course, again, uh, even flying, you know, you can uh, you can lose some fluids here pretty quickly. So there's a lot of stuff just uh, shoring up and making sure we're on the same page so that way the whole trip uh, goes smooth. We're all excited um, just, just to finally get after it. This is a big-time game. Um, it's going to be a statement game for us. Kind of just, um, it's a game that definitely like shapes our identity for the rest of the season. So you can tell everybody's hyped up um, in, in practice, giving great energy um, this first day coming out. And um, yeah, we really feel like it's a statement game for us. Um, time to, to prove who we are um, once and for all. What's the preparation like going from you know UConn to a top 12 team? I mean, um, we, we try to prepare the same for whoever we're playing against. Um, I mean, we our goal is to go one and one and zero um, every week. So. We kind of just look at their film, look at um, their habits and stuff. Um, and I mean, as we go on, of course, there's going to be some great playmakers that we're playing against. So we just got to be ready for that. And um, I mean, we're feeling pretty confident about all our matchups. Um, so I mean, we're just going to play all out. Um, all we could do, play with some physicality and, and get after it. What's this offense, you know, look like? I know Anthony Brown is a transfer. What do you know about, you know, the offense that you guys are going to be facing? I mean, they got some playmakers for sure. Um, got some guys at receiver um, that can that can make plays. Um, I mean, we're we're definitely focused on stopping the run, um, just because we know what can extend off of that. Um, they got RPOs or, or big play action plays and stuff. So. Um, stopping the run is going to be a main point for us and just being as physical as we can, um, getting after them for, for 48 minutes. Um, is that how long it 60? 60 minutes. Uh, yeah, just getting after it, um, just going, going all out, um, really. Just 11 guys to the ball every play and, and just playing with max effort. I mean, that's all we could do. Um, so just kind of getting ready for this, this battle um, we're, we're about to go to. So. This is going to be a family affair for yes, you. Sir. Yeah, you got, yes, you got sir. your uh, older brother up against you. Um, mm -hmm. Just what's what's it like between you guys? Like, do you guys talk about it? Like, what's, oh, what is it about? All the time, all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're constantly texting um, every day. I mean, we, we've dreamt about something like this for, for so long. Um, we I remember, yeah, it feels like a couple weeks ago when we were kids um, talking about our jersey swapping in the NFL. That was our, our biggest dream, um, being on that stage. and. I mean, this kind of just feels like a, a step in the right direction, of course, being able to compete with your, your older brother. Um, we've never been able to compete against each other um, growing up just because he's always been a couple years older. So he's been at that next level. Um, but yeah, finally being able to, I mean, worlds are colliding. So it's kind of just, we're both juiced up. Um, we, we'll, we text each other every day. So, I mean, we're just both extremely competitive guys. So finally being able to, to have this opportunity to get after each other on the big stage. I mean, we're, we're both ready. Is it smack talk that you guys are doing, or is it just like getting not each as much? <laughs> kind of just yeah, kind of just getting each other's head. Kind of just, I mean, a little smack talk, I guess. We're both competitive guys, so I mean, we'll, we'll throw jabs every once in a while, but nah. I mean, we're we're both excited for this opportunity finally to to just be able to showcase our skills um, finally um, in what seems like a, a big stage. So we're just excited for that opportunity uh, first and foremost, and then smack talk follows a little little after, but yeah. How much would it mean to you know have the little brother beat the big brother on a stage like that? I mean, it would be awesome, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's what we do. We compete. Um, so just being able to, yeah, I mean, that, that would be some something you, you dream about. Uh, 
just being able to get after that. I mean, this whole team's just been been working for it um, for so long. Um, for games like this, we see these games on our schedule, and we're just, you know, it kind of gets your blood rushing, um, gets your energy up because you know the the what's at stake. So. I mean, finally just having this opportunity, um, little brother being the big brother, I mean, we're, we're ready for it. We're ready for it. Where does this opponent rank on, you know, teams that you faced already in your career here at Fresno State? I mean, this is probably the, the best one. I mean, they're, what are they ranked, 11th, 11. I think, um, right now. Um, so definitely the, the highest ranked um, opponent we, we've our, I've ever faced. Um, but, I mean, you kind of just got to face it with the same mindset. Um, they're an opponent that, that's kind of standing in our way be, between a, a victory. and. Um, Got to come out and just play with full effort um, every play and, I mean, just get after them. I'm, we treat them like anybody else. Um, there's going to be some playmakers, and we're going to have playmakers as well. Um, so it's just going to be big battle, and I'm, I'm ready for it. This, this team's ready for it. Just one question. Go ahead. Stadium, obviously, mm. Mm. famous for oh, yeah. craziness, noise, mm. all that stuff. Um, as a team, how do you mm. prepare for that? And does that excite you? You know, more than yeah. discourage you going in? I mean, for me, I, I'm definitely excited. I like playing away games. I love home games, of course, just because of the red wave. I mean, they're, them showing out, but away games, just having that kind of chip on your shoulder, um, everybody's rooting against you, kind of being able to make a play in that environment is, is electric. Um, so, but yeah, just having that opportunity um, in, an, yeah, in a foreign um, environment, it's, it's, it's extremely exciting. and then. We're getting prepared. Um, of course, you hear the speakers um, are playing right behind us, um, getting ready for the noise, um, cranking, it, cranking it to max volume um, during practice, um, just being ready to, to communicate um, the most efficiently. But yeah, I mean, we're just excited for this opportunity, ready to get after it. And one more actually for me. Go ahead. So you guys are going to be 20 and a half point underdogs heading in. Do you sure. guys even look at that? Do you even care about that? I mean, you, you, you hear the noise, but you kind of just got to tune it out um, at the end of the day. Um, I mean, yeah, our whole motto this year is we decide. Um, so we decide um, it, it's not up to a media or something to, to influence um, what we're going to do. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be us standing on that field. And so we're just getting ready um, day after day and kind of coming with the mentality um, of winning each day until it comes game day, and then we're going to see what happens. Awesome, Evan. Good job.